Now, some good news uh, at the start of the business news today. Um, some good news on the race to develop a COVID-19 vaccine, the clinical trials for the Oxford vaccine. This is the one uh, being developed by Britain's AstraZeneca have shown that it is equally effective in older and younger people, could be uh, key to protecting more vulnerable adults from the virus. We're going to talk to our business editor, Stephen Carroll, about that. Stephen, we've already heard, haven't we, from the drug companies Pfizer, Moderna in recent days about the effectiveness. This isn't the same sort of announcement, though, from AstraZeneca is it? No, it's not. And it's important to point that out because what we've been hearing from Pfizer and Moderna was about the percentage uh, effectiveness rates of their vaccines, very high, in nine, over 95% in, in Pfizer's case and just under 95% in Moderna's case. What this uh, study, which is published in the Lancet Medical Journal today, it's a peer-reviewed study, is looking at uh, not the effectiveness rate, uh, that hasn't been announced yet officially, but rather how the vaccine is responding across different age groups. And the crucial points uh, that it has found out about the Oxford trial of the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, is that the vaccine is safe, first of all, and secondly, that it's producing a similar, what's being described as robust immune response from older and younger people. And that's important for a couple of reasons, partly because we know that older people are more vulnerable if they catch COVID-19 uh, to it being more serious, but also because as people get older, their immune system uh, deteriorates and the fact that the vaccine is proving equally as effective and provo pro pro provoking a similar immune response in, in older and younger people is important and promising news for the AstraZeneca trial of this vaccine as well. On the issue of side effects, the side effects are mild. Uh, according to this study, uh, it found that while people had side effects like soreness in the arm or tiredness or headaches reported after having had the vaccine, uh, that they were only mild. And in fact, older people had less of those mild side effects uh, than younger people. So those under 55 that were involved uh, in this study, uh, which was 560 people, 88% uh, of under 55s had those those mild side effects as opposed to only 61% of people who are over 70. So more promising news uh, there as well. Across those 560 people, there were 13 at serious adverse events for people who had the sick in the six months after they had the first dose of the vaccine, uh, but they were unconnected to the vaccine itself. And that's an important point to make as well as the only side effects connected to the vaccine uh, have been mild. Uh, now, this is all ahead of, of course, getting more details on the late stage trials of the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine. Uh, good news we see on this front, though, for how it would affect particularly older people. Stephen, when are we expecting details then of the overall effectiveness here? So the company officially says by the end of the year, they will have that effectiveness figure out, which will put it, uh, I suppose, more comparably with the other vaccines that are being developed as well. Although the finance chief at AstraZeneca did say that it was imminent. So perhaps in the next days or weeks, we might get those key figures from AstraZeneca, the CEO of the company, Pascal Soy, is saying, uh, so Sorio, I should say, is saying in early November that they would be ready to deliver hundreds of millions of doses by the vaccines in uh, January if it's approved by regulators, because of course that will be the next step. Once we get the test results, then we have to get regulatory approval for the vaccine before it could be rolled out. The AstraZeneca vaccine is different from the Pfizer and Moderna ones. It's more of a classic vaccine because Pfizer and Moderna have been using this new RNA technology, which is innovative uh, in the vaccine world. So AstraZeneca is a bit different on that front as well. It's also cheaper. Uh, the current price is being floated about for these vaccines is about three or four dollars for the AstraZeneca vaccine versus 20 for the Pfizer vaccine and around 30 for the Moderna vaccine. So that's going to be important in the development of these as well. Uh, so we have to wait and see what we get in terms of those late stage test results from AstraZeneca when the company releases them. And Steve, what about the markets? Is it affecting them? So AstraZeneca's shares did open up at the start of trading today, initially up over 1%, although those gains have been uh, eroded a little bit as trading has gone on. And that's in keeping with what we'd seen, although there was great excitement about the first Pfizer results of their vaccine showing over 90% efficiency last week, the reactions to the subsequent news on vaccines has been a bit more muted. Investors are getting more used to the idea that there is 
uh, potentially a very effective vaccine going to be developed, but that it won't happen immediately and that there will be delays in getting that rolled out around the world and I suppose having a, a global effect. So uh, that's the picture on the uh, stock markets for AstraZeneca. More generally in Europe, the shares though starting the day in the red, London, Paris and Frankfurt all down by around seven tenths of 1% at the start of trading banks among the fallers. Their healthcare shares led by AstraZeneca also being led higher on that. Technology shares uh, also doing better across the, the European sectors today as well. In Asia earlier, it was a mixed picture as well. We had falls in Tokyo, but gains across the rest of the Asian markets. Thanks, Stephen. Stephen Carroll, our business editor on France 24.